the PMPO days. And up till now, well, things are pretty much the same. It doesn't seem like anything has changed. And it's Wipes already opening things up. Prabid, the man, has already found himself the kill. And the first point in the game, and that's going to be the first blood on his name as well. But Abe Stokanik already found himself the opening that he was looking for. Trades are happening left and right as Wives already have two players knocked out. And Abe seems like they're going to be punishing them left and right. It doesn't matter what's going on. Apes is not going to be stopping anytime soon. Jiggle's kill has been confirmed there. The last two players are still alive. It's going to be Malik and Malib. But for how long, Manish... But for how long is Manish going to be able to hold this thing, hold this tricky situation off though? He's in the apartments, but the entire ape squad is in the front lines. 3v1 situation, things are not really looking good for wives. And th th things like this always make a problem for all these teams. Let's take a look at TRZ as well. A Nate there kind of uh, getting the team kill as well, and it seems like TUF now are punishing TRZ as well. Unfortunate turn of events for a massive team, and TUF again. Punishing TRZ for such kind of rookie mistakes is, of course, going to be a massive factor in the game of PUBG. We have seen in the past as well any kind of small mistakes. If you get a nade right on your teammates, and if you have 16 minutes, oh, rather 16 teams all alive, and only five minutes into the game, but it is the map of Miramar where things do end up stretching a little bit. Right here, we can see Team Vibe, the consistent uh, players from day number one, seem to be taking a very slow approach where Manish seems to have just held one thing. And that is going to be to get as much information as he can possibly and relay it towards his teammates. Now, as we look on towards the map, it seems like we've got three teams in this area right now. Of course, we were just looking at YB Sports along with which they've got their eyes towards the side of Apes. But there seems to be another team that is in the back lines of Team Vibe for the moment. The push is coming in through. I'm pretty sure Malik is kind of panicking. <laughs> Down one by one, stand slowly and steadily. And it doesn't seem like Apes is going to give it up that easily. Apes seems pretty unstoppable up till now. One player was taken down. The opening from the players of Wipes was found. But then Apes just absolutely demolished the entire squad of Wipes one by one. And now Wipes is just down to that one last man surviving. Blood Legion, of course, a squad from the Bangladesh region. Probably one of the best squads that they have to offer does carry a PMPL experience on their back as well. So we do expect a dominating performance from this team, especially Dominic though, kind of separating out from the team, trying to create a fl flank angle, maybe create an anonymous angle on the enemy lines. And we do know it does work out quite a lot. Absolutely. In these sort of situations, you know, creating those flank approaches is the best bet that these teams can possibly rely upon when it comes to, you know, converting a situation like this into your favor. But in that doing so, there needs to be a lot of information that needs to be relayed amongst the team members as well. You know, the synergy needs to be on point for them to be able to understand exactly the kind of push that they're planning on doing. And in that, it is right now, of course, XB Blood Legion as well as Apes who have the information against each other. Though, Manish is the one lad, I believe, who was alive uh, from the side of Team Vibe, who is still sticking very close to XB Blood Legion, but has not yet given away his position. Not a doubt. It's the stare down competition up till now. Pretty much both these teams playing it out as safe as possible. I mean, let's be honest, Plotter, you know. Neither you thought, neither I thought these teams would be taking such a tactical approach inside the scrims as well, you know. Especially as these are True. just, you know, the matches that you need to qualify in the finals. And uh, these teams are actually playing this, this, these kind of circumstances out pretty as safe as possible. They're making sure they're not dying. Uh, as fast as possible, and there we see T uh, there we see Destroyer actually getting knocked yep. out, and um, I think so he, no he he got knocked out from fall damage, and now it seems yes. like his whole team is getting punished for it. Damn.